Now, yeah. the Victorian Bar is allowing its members to decide whether or not they will take a public stance on the proposed Indigenous voice. Uh, I've heard from several of their members who are not happy at all. One of them, Neil Brown KC, says that the only option uh, for the lawyers is to vote to support the voice or to not take a stand. There's no option to oppose it. Uh, I'm going to be speaking to that King's Council on Monday night. But Warren, it's just another example of the state of public discourse. You know, stay silent or supported. But God forbid you should actually advocate for the no side. Well, 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 it's more than that. These are our top lawyers in the country. How can you trust these people, these lawyers, uh, about getting a fair go and a fair trial uh, when they're coming out and they're making political decisions? You know, this is corruption at mm. its worst. You know, it's it, the Bar Association should keep their mouths shut and, and, and let the Australian people make their decision because one of the, the foundations of the, uh, the of, of our legal system is is is, is that the, the lawyers will will no matter what you know whether you've been charged with a criminal thing or you've been uh, whatever they've done you always got the right for that defence. I couldn't trust a lawyer or a, a king's counsel or a senior counsel after they come out and said this that they're going to force me an Aboriginal man uh, and tell me. What I, what I should be doing.